On December 24, 1966, at 9.30 p.m., the New York City television station WPIX broadcast three hours of this. A log in a fireplace on fire for three hours. No commercials, no interruptions, just log. The Yule Log. And if you think that's amazing, I hope you're sitting down because guess what? They still do it. Well, they stopped for a while from 1990 to 2001, but since 2001, and including this year on December 25th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., Yule Log. Which Pix has updated, by the way, it looks a little nicer. Other stations also broadcast the log. Many of them even make it available on demand. It's nice because it's television that's meant to be almost background decoration. The Yule Log can be seen as an ancestor of slow television, a style of simple, long-form programming that shows the entirety of one event, like Germany's Bonn TV's Driver's Eye View of train lines, or Norwegian station NRK's broadcasting of the entire 134-hour journey of the MS Nordna which I'm sure I'm saying just like super right. Originally, like originally, originally, the Yule Log was a pagan ritual like the Christmas tree. There would be a log or a block that would be burned for celebration and, duh, warmth. Over time, the Yule Log, and abstracted even further, the open fireplace, became a holiday symbol of home and gathering family. Fred Thrower, the CEO of WPIX in 1966, didn't want city folk, people who generally don't have fireplaces, to miss out, and so the televised Yule Log was born. Or sparked, I guess. And hey, TV Log goes for three hours. Four hours this year. That's so much soothing Yule, no poking or bellowing necessary. In some ways, the simulacrum is better than the real thing, except it's not actually warm, unless you're hugging your television. And hey, if you are, that's great. You do you. It's kind of perfect, really. In 1947, there were only about 45,000 television sets in the entire United States, but by 1966, 93% of American households had at least one. Television quickly became not only a pastime, but a seeming necessity. The thing around which, like the kitchen table or the hearth, the family gathered. So it only makes sense that the Yule Log would make its way eventually to the newest thing around which so many of us gather, the internets. Starting in 1997, WPIX put the Yule Log online, and since then, no shortage of people have followed suit, including, as of this year, Idea Channel. For everyone celebrating the holidays or just gathering with their family around various screens, we have done two things. First, we made a playlist of all of our most favorite YouTube Yule Logs. They're long, it is hours of material, so even if the family is around all day, you'll be covered. And second, the playlist starts with our own Yule Log, an Idea Channel Yule Log, an Idea Log, if you will. Which, if you won't, that's perfectly fine. I understand it's a very bad pun. If you need them, there are links to both the Yule Log playlist and the Idea Log in the doobly-doo. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I'm hoping they will be doubly useful because I'm assuming at this time of year you have no interest in hanging out in front of a roaring a fireplace. We'll be back in two weeks on January 7th with a new full episode and comment responses to our morning ritual video. Until then, safe travels. If you're traveling, tell your friends and family we said hi, happy holidays, and on with the Yule.